Welcome back. In the last video, we um, talked to Yisha, who gave us another journey, a quest, to apparently unlock that tablet that we saw in Kavir. And that tablet has something to do with the enslavement of the Barrow. But what exactly isn't entirely clear. It seems that Jisha has at some point tried to get this tablet, but for some reason she failed and now she cannot uh, touch it anymore. Maybe the reason that she failed, uh, or maybe the fact that she failed, is the reason why she sounded so disappointed. Whatever. And then she sent us here using her uh, grower linking without books trick. And we saw Escher, who apparently is a full uh, dunny, and who has yet another way to pronounce dunny. He says dhni for some reason. I will continue to say dunny. Oh, still earthquakes here, so we can't be too far away from where we were. Where are we, actually? That's a good question. We appear to be inside some sort of hole. Actually, where we are is inside the crater of the volcano in the desert near the cleft. Yes, we begin very close to where we began Uru. And one of the clues that we are in fact there is this thing, which you may recognize as the dagger from Riven which, last time we saw it, fell into the starfisher. And we saw in Uru that uh, many of the riven remnants had ended up in the desert, because that's where the starfisher comes out. And the dagger was the only thing there that was missing, but apparently it was inside the volcano. Now I find it very hard to believe that uh, the dagger landed on its tip like that, so I guess somebody uh, put it up right in the intervening 200 years. Well, there's a lot of stuff uh, to look at around here, actually. It's on all of these rocks, there are drawings. Oh, there are also some butterflies. Well, let's look at them. Actually, these are some of the same drawings we saw in the beginning, in the uh, intro movie. And we'll see them again later, but... We can look up close here. This drawing seems to represent Mist Island, but before anything was built there. I guess these drawings were made by the Barrow, I'm not sure, but they seem to match the Barrow drawings we've seen in uh, the style of the, the Barrow drawings that we've seen. Uh, there's also some figures here, which would be Atris, Catherine, and Ceres and Akinar. And this fi figure, I suppose, is Tiana, Atrus's grandmother, also known by the name Anna. And up here we see another drawing, also of mist, but this time it's completed. We see uh, the tower, and we see the library, and the docks with the ship, and the rocket, and the gear. We can't see the stuff in the forest, because it's blocked by the forest itself. And again we see Atris and Catherine, and Ceres and Akinar. You see that Ceres and Akinar are a bit bigger now, because they're older. The next drawing, on the next rock, shows us Riven. So this is the cage over the linking spot in Riven, next to the starfisher. And again we see Atris and Catherine. Well, there's more rocks. I'm not entirely sure what this one represents. My guess is that it represents Atrus's efforts to uh, rebuild Dunny before he decided to give up on that and write Relishan instead. Although this isn't the normal way that uh, the cavern is represented, but I can't really think of anything else that uh, it could represent. If you do know, let me know in the comments. 
We do see Aetris and Catherine again, as well as a bunch of other figures which are undefined. Drawing here, we see again Catherine and Atris and a new child. Of course, that is Yisha. We can actually see Yisha's symbol here, very vaguely. Um, and the drawing up there, I suppose, is Tomana, their new home, which is close to here. Down there, we see another drawing of what I believe to be Tomana. And Atris, Catherine. This is actually Yisha again. So this is how the Barrow draw Yisha. A bit weird, but it is her, trust me. And Sirius and Akinar once more. Leading me to believe that this picture represents the events of Mist 4. Revelation, which I haven't uh, played yet for our Let's Plays. I might may do so after I finish this one. In this drawing we see Tomana, at least again I think it's Tomana, and the cleft near the volcano. Volcano. So we're here in the volcano at the moment. This is the cleft which we've seen in uh, in Uru, and this is Yisha. And here we find that hole in the ground that Escher was talking about, where we should begin our journey. We also find some more drawings. Um, here we see what I believe to be the Dunny Cavern. See, this is the normal way that the Barrow draw the Dunny Cavern, or that it's usually represented. Um, and Yisha, and some other guy. And we don't know who that is. I have a sneaking suspicion who it is, but I'm technically not supposed to know at this point in the game. This drawing shows Yisha, as well as some creatures around uh, her. I guess that could be the Barrow, but I am really not sure what this represents. And finally, Yisha and some other guys in the Dunny Cavern. We know this is Dunny Cavern because this is Ka the Gate of Karaf, which we've seen in Uru, of course. And finally, a drawing over here showing Yisha and what I believe to be Escher, the guy who we just saw, and the tablet. Interesting. So let's head into this hole. Now, for those of you with long memories, you may recall that I said that. Oh, wait, there's a borrow there. But they run away and then link away when we get closer and there's a whole bunch more bats here as well. Now those of you with long memories may remember that I said that there's a way into Dunny through the volcano. That the volcano was sort of a side entrance into the great shaft. But we couldn't get into there um, in Uru. But here we can. This takes us into the tunnels that lead into Dunny. There's another lamp here, sitting on a crate. And a book. Let us look at that. These pages are my journey, my story, my path. They're not meant to cover up, but to reveal. Sometimes in poems, sometimes in story, sometimes clear. Sometimes vague, sometimes long, sometimes brief. But the release of these words is a soothing elixir to my burdened soul. The words must flow from me, or I will die. And in the end, these words are crumbs that spill along my path. And whoever eats these crumbs will know more of me. Okay, well, it seems that I won't be doing any journal reading, uh in this game because the game does it for us much like Mist 4 all the journals are read by whoever wrote it actually there's only Yisha's journals so 
Isha will read all of those, so I don't have to. Which saves me a lot of uh, effort. It's sort of a shame, because I liked reading the, the journals. Um, we can see this representation here of... Uh, in total, 16 of these journals, and we will find a lot of these along the way, explaining what Jisha has been doing. But right now we only have one. We can access them at any time up here. How nice. What's this, actually? Ah, okay, this is a log of the uh, dialogue we've heard. I didn't actually know that. Never noticed it before. Okay, um, I'm out of time, so I'll continue in the next video.